shopping spree on the island today thanks to the Nassau Police Department. Dozens of children had the chance to pick out toys at Maddie's Toy Store in Hewitt today. The Benevolent Association of the Department sponsored this annual act of goodwill because this has been a difficult year for so many. Thanks for being with us. I'm Dana Tyler. The CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell is next. Good night. Tonight, 2020 will go down in history as America's deadliest year. As President-elect Joe Biden warns, the darkest days are ahead of us. The heartbreaking news tonight that more than 115,000 Americans could spend Christmas in the hospital fighting coronavirus. And that new, more contagious COVID strain is likely already here in the U.S. While overseas, it's isolating England, stopping thousands of delivery trucks at the border. Biden blasts Trump. The president-elect blames the president for the enormous cyber attack on the federal government. This assault happened on Donald Trump's watch when he wasn't watching. His warning tonight for those responsible. Fauci's turn. The nation's top infectious disease doctor rolls up his sleeve. I feel extreme confidence in the safety and the efficacy of this vaccine. Plus, why who gets the vaccine next can make a difference in flattening the curve. Americans out of work. Tonight, the story of middle-class families hurting, relying on food banks and not getting a check from the U.S. government. Jailed for violating quarantine. An American college student is sentenced to two months behind bars in the Cayman Islands. What her parents are asking the president to do. Holiday storm. Millions brace for snow, rain, and possibly tornadoes. And the black ice that caused this tractor trailer to go up in flames in New York. And our season of giving. World-renowned chef Jose Andres feeding hungry Americans and providing a lifeline to small businesses. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We are going to begin tonight with unusually blunt words from President-elect Joe Biden, who said our darkest days in the battle against COVID are ahead of us, not behind us. His warning comes as America.